Kendall Jenner is a 24-year-old influencer and model, and of course, part of the Kardashian royalty. Amongst her whole family of plastic surgery enthusiasts, my kind of people, she's known as the natural one. But is Kendall Jenner completely natural or has she had a little help? Although Kendall Jenner has always been pretty naturally, in my opinion, to gain the type of notoriety and momentum that Kendall Jenner has gained in the modeling world, she needed to have certain features tweaked to give her that model look. In this video, I'll give you my opinion on what plastic surgery procedures I believe Kendall Jenner has had to give her that model edge. At the end, I'll total up how much it costs to look like Kendall Jenner. Stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Lori Hill. I do videos about beauty and plastic surgery. My goal is to show you that beauty is attainable for almost anyone. When I do celebrity videos, it's never to shame or expose that celebrity. Rather, it's to give you out there hope and to diminish any insecurities you may have when you view these perfect celebrities and thinking they were born that way. My celebrity videos for a lot of people are met with distaste and dislike. For those of you who are easily offended or are super fans of any of these celebrities, I recommend that you don't watch this video. For the rest of you still here, if that sounds good to you, please subscribe to my channel and let's get started. All of my views expressed here are my opinions only. Kendall Jenner's first major change was her nose. In my opinion, Kendall Jenner had a nose job sometime between 2012 and 2013. Her nasal bones were broken and then they were brought back together in a more narrow way. I think a lot of people are super confused with Kendall's nose because I don't think that the surgeon did much to her profile. Kendall has always had a beautiful high bridge profile. Where the surgeon really did the majority of their work was narrowing her nasal bones and also making her tip a lot more petite and narrow as well. A lot of times people who have a high bridge to their nose also have a wider look to their nose from the front view and also from the three quarters view. So this is where most of the plastic surgeons work was. A nose job or a rhinoplasty can be done under twilight or general anesthesia. It does take a really long time to not look swollen anymore from a nose job, so anywhere from three to nine months and up. The second procedure I believe Kendall Jenner has done has to do with her eyebrows. A couple years after she had her nose done, she started to demonstrate the effects of an endoscopic brow lift. An endoscopic brow lift hides the incisions in the hairline. They're truly undetectable. This brow lift gave Kendall Jenner way more upper lid space. It also gave her more of an upswept, exotic look to her eyes and her brows, and it took away that pretty girl next door look. An endoscopic brow lift can be done under twilight or general anesthesia, and it's usually done in a surgery center. The next change I believe that Kendall Jenner had was to her cheeks. Everyone speculates that Kendall Jenner's cheeks are filler, but I disagree, and I'll tell you why. I don't believe she's had filler to her cheeks especially in the modeling world, which she's in. They really prefer those hard angles. They like a harder looking cheek structure. It looks so much better in photos. It's much more photogenic. And if she had had filler, she would have a much softer look to her cheekbones. So in my opinion, I believe Kendall Jenner has had small cheek implants placed. Fillers tend to give a more voluminous look, whereas cheek implants give a harder, more model-esque angle. Cheek implants can be placed through an incision in the mouth, they can be done in the surgeon's office or in a surgery center. As far as swelling, you're swollen for a really long time. Somewhere between a month and two months, you basically look like a chipmunk. In addition to Kendall Jenner possibly having cheek implants, 
I also believe that she had buckle fat removal to accentuate her cheek angles even more and give her that upswept V look to her face. So I almost don't need to say this, but yes, I think that Kendall Jenner has had Juvederm filler to her upper and lower lip. So let's total up Kendall Jenner's plastic surgery procedures. This is my opinion only. Nose job, $15,000. Brow lip, $14,000. Cheek implants, $10,000. Buckle fat removal, $5,000. Juvederm to her upper and lower lip, $2,000. So how much does it cost to look like Kendall Jenner? $36,000 and up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye. Life was dull until you came. I was breathless when we first met. Couldn't keep my hands away. I was speechless when we